So the next thing is we're going to look at how to use this Bing AI to improve our writing be it academic or non-academic writing. So you can use it to check in spelling mistake, grammar mistake, and correct it accordingly. Okay, so let's start a new topic and give it some prompts. For example, let's copy some part of a journal paper and ask it to even explain some part of the, the journal paper for us. So for example, in this journal, you can copy this entire abstract. You can just go ahead and copy this and then go back to our Bing AI. Can you summarize this for me? in a simple term okay so i can just paste in the content all right the content here so let's see whether you can summarize this very nicely all right sure i can summarize the text for you in a simple term here's my summary flood can flooding can cause a lot of damage and costs a lot of money to fix different ways of draining water can help reduce the damage the study looked at three ways of draining water in a city in texas that had many floods okay so you can see it's a complete summary of this okay very nicely done and very comprehensive to anyone the study suggests that having more wetlands and basins can save money from flooding so i think this is very nicely prepared and you can use it to kind of understand the key things so you can prompt it more and say can you give me more three takeaways from this from this passage can you give me three takeaways from this passage let's see where whether it can be able to sure here are three takeaways from the passage okay flooding can have huge economic impacts storage based drainage systems are more effective than conveyance based systems wetlands and basins can be used to as storage based drainage facilities to prevent future economic losses from flooding i think these are very very direct and straightforward points from this literature so you can do a lot of things in terms of enhancing the literature you can say even to you can ask it to generate three research articles from this very content maybe you can say three journals related to this and maybe you can give you a summary of that so let's prompt it to say can you can you generate three can you provide three research journal papers related to this topic and give a summary of their findings so you can see can you give three research papers related to this topic and give three give a summary of their findings you can see it's going to find the research papers and it's going to give you the summary of their findings so you can see sure here are three research papers how effective are drainage systems in mitigating flood losses, improvement of a drainage system for flood mitigation. So these are the findings from those papers, okay, from the three papers. These are the very basic findings. This paper proposed a method. This paper analyzed how water can be. You can see these are the papers and these are the findings. And you can go ahead and study more to find out more about them and what they do. So you can just go ahead and explore this and see what you can do for yourself. But in terms of helping you to search around and find the relevant key features, find relevant related articles or journal papers, it can do that for you perfectly and it can analyze content for you. So for example, let's say from this paper, okay, we can just select any part, any part of it and ask it to explain or to summarize the content and you can do that very fast. So for example, this whole article, this whole write-up of results, you can just copy it and come back here and ask it to can you explain this in 100 words then we can just paste it okay can you explain this whole article this whole explanation in 100 words and you can see here is my attempt to explain this in 100 words the figure showed different rainfall amounts of at different stations flooding sustainability susceptibility and flood susceptibility means how likely an area is to flood okay the maps are divided into five categories from very small to very large susceptibility. The authors compare the maps with the largest, with the highest percentages of moderate, high and very high susceptibility. So this is a very quick summary from all this data. What can it depict? And it depicts all this. They found that the maps with 50% more rainfall at Sparta station had the highest percentage of high and very high susceptibility combined. This means that this scenario will cause the most flood risk 
the most flood risk in the area okay so this is the complete summary and it has given you a very direct answer to it so i think this is very nice when it comes to correcting or improving right up you can make it also to help you improve your right up so assuming we look at take a look at this this right up this is generic it's not um, a journal paper this is just a generic right up but it's poorly written it can help you to improve this right up can you improve this passage so you can just paste it and have it improved so can you improve this passage let's see the response here is my attempt to improve this passage okay so you can see it has given you the improved uh, version okay so you can see it's writing directly so you can just go ahead and have a look at it the language yes it has already improved the language and some of the key punctuations are there about that has, it has improved it so just go ahead and give it a try and see what and what you can do let's check out some spelling mistakes and, and grammar error so for example can you improve this Aliyu is going to school yesterday and his girlfriend will be visiting him last week so take note of the spelling and the cor correction the grammar is very wrong but let's say can you improve this okay can you make it a better sentence we can ask this simple sentence and let's see how it's going to improve it for us. Ali is going to school yesterday. Here's my attempt to improve. Ali went to school yesterday and his girlfriend visited him last week. And that's very correct. The English is superb and very nice. So you can see how excellently you can use this Bing AI to improve your writing, to improve your grammar and even spelling mistakes and enhance the paper or article writing in general so you can just go ahead and bring in different kind of fronts for example we can say new topic and maybe if you are writing a literature review you can just go ahead and say can you give me five sample research papers on flood strategies and summarize their findings so let's see, can you give me five sample research papers on flood mitigation strategies to summarize their findings? It's going to give you those papers and give you the summary of all their findings. So literature review now becomes very easy for you to conduct. Very, very easy you can conduct that. So you can see these are the five papers that it has consulted. These are the links to them. These are references to them. And this number three, this one, two, three. If you want more, you can still ask it to write more. So you can see it has given you. So you can say write more if you want. You can say write more. Okay, write more papers. So it's going to write more. So as you know. Okay, here are two more papers. Okay, floor risk strategies, a comparison of five urban cities. So you can see <laughs> a review of flood mitigation strategies for urban areas. You can see this is also these are also papers. And then these are they are major most of their their key findings. So we can equally ask it to tabulate these results, okay, and make it in a tabular form. Can you make this these papers and their findings in tabular form, please? So let's see whether it can help us to make it make them all in tabular form. So the papers and then the sure i can do that this is the paper this is main focus this is the key finding so you can see literature review virtually becomes exceptionally easy and very very easy to write and you can see now it is just giving you the summary of everything from that paper the topic the main focus and the findings and you can even add it ask it to add remarks to it and maybe compare it to a given topic that you are working on and see what and what can you can you bring out i hope this helps your research yeah it is very helpful to you you have highlighted the key findings key focus of each paper stating the paper and what they are what they are about so you can see it is very very nicely done you can ask it to write add references or they are about ladies and gentlemen this is just a bit about how to use this being ai to enhance your write up to enhance your text to correct grammars and spelling mistakes and generally bring in different kind of approach to your research so that you can ease your journey and make it very simple to work with i think that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one